everybody, it's Micah. Um, back with another uh, video in the Junk Journal on a Budget series. So, um, first I need to apologize for kind of dropping off the face of the planet for the last week. Um, if you'll recall in my last video, I said that I was kind of feeling under the weather and that um, kind of came to a head and I really was not feeling well. And um, then you know, Christmas happened. So, Merry Post Christmas, by the way. We are a family who celebrates Christmas. Um, so, all that craziness kind of happened. We've been working really hard the last few years to kind of um, tone down Christmas. Um, you know, the craziness of it and really working on, um, you know, really focusing more on family and um, being together and stuff. So, enough of that. I, um, this box, actually, I wanted to show you guys this. So my grandparents on my dad's side have both passed away. And there went my light. I got to get that looked up. Um, have both passed away. And they were, for all intents and purposes, hoarders. Um, the stuff that we have found in their home is just mind boggling. Um, but, and it's been literally... A couple of years process to get the home like really cleaned out and repairs made and things like that um, so and they're still finding things so when I was over at my parents house yesterday for Christmas lunch this little box was sitting there and I was like oh my gosh they found these in my grandparents house um, vintage um, baby congratulations 12 cards 12 envelopes there's no year on the box but I would guess maybe 60s maybe based on the artwork and stuff so I opened it up and there are all of these Christmas stamps from um, one of the charities um, National Tuberculosis and Respiratory Disease Association these are from 1970, 72, 74. I don't know if you guys, am I, am I staying in frame? Sorry guys. Um, yeah, so I thought these were awesome and these are probably going to find their way um, into some happy mail um, because I know there are some people who really, really dig Christmas stuff and I thought these would make really cute like altered paper clips or tabs or you know collage decorations or whatever so I was like I'm stealing these <laughs> so those and then these cards were in there with the little envelopes um and these are so cute they are it looks like you know there's a few different designs um so cute so so cute um the artwork on these is fantastic um so maybe these are from the 70s since those uh stamps are as well i don't know but i had to bring them home and they're gonna find their way into something so that's that merry christmas to me um let me set these to the side here okay so um the one thing i did get youtube related is i got a new um, arm to hold my phone while I'm filming. So this will hopefully fix any sound or <laughs> weird filming angle stuff that I've had going on. So let's craft. What do you guys say? I So I have not touched anything craft related except I had to make stockings <laughs> for our family. Um, that's part of why I disappeared because I had um, 10 stockings to make and that took a minute. So, um, I have not done anything junk journal related in a week since the last time we were together. Um, so I'm a little bit like, what am I doing? How does this work? Yeah. So it's fi finding our way back, um, post Christmas, right? So what do we want to do today? You know what I'm thinking? You know what I'm thinking? We had this piece that we did, um, I'm thinking I'd like to make some pockets is what I'm thinking. Um, ooh, you know what? So I got, in one of my Facebook groups, we did a um, stuffed envelope 
swap. Um, this is the one that I received in this swap and it's got um, some different tags and papers and these little things. Um, and I'm actually thinking, see this is just, it would just clip in, right? It would just clip in. But I'm thinking, this is so cute, that this may, the colors actually work pretty nicely with this journal. So I think what I'm gonna do is find a page and just, I think I'm just gonna clip that in there. Let me grab a paper clip real quick. See, that's really nice. Okay, awesome. And then the envelope will go into uh, my correspondence journal and all that jazz. And then I've got these little bits and bobs to use later on. This, this one I think I'm actually gonna keep and find a use for somewhere else in here. But these will stick over here. Okay. So let's do some pockets, some pockets, some pockets, some pockets. Um, I've got a bit of a mess going on over here. Um, I also, the other thing I got for Christmas was a whole bunch of stamps. Um, these are all from Amazon. It was a package of, I want to say, I think there's 14 or 15 stamp sheets and it was like $22 or something. Um, so that's really a great, like kind of budget friendly, um, way to do it. You know, it's some of these I won't necessarily use as much. Um, but that's okay. Cause like even these, um, <laughs> dish rasher, <laughs> I'm assuming they mean washer, um, and rash. I'm assuming they mean wash. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. This cracks me up. Vaco, uh, vacuum maybe. And then post brook housework maybe. Yeah. So, but I'll use these in my bullet journal. So that's, <laughs> I love stuff like that. It cracks me up. And then this one too has some that I will use in my bullet journal as well as here. So, um, so some of these may make their way into here. I haven't had a chance to really go through them yet and really like check them out. Um, but I'm excited about those. So these are going to go over here. So what are we doing? We are going to make pockets. Let's find something to make pockets out of in my hot little mess express over here. Okay, so we have all of these things that we had printed out last time. You know what? Wouldn't that be a cute little kind of a pocket? That would be cute. We'll grab our little scissors here. I'm going to try and do this quickly, but still nicely. Um, just because I'm sure you guys don't want to sit and watch me um, cut out ephemera, right? Um, if I was a different sort of person, I would have done this already. I'm actually, you know what, before I do this, I'm going to back this on um, some cardstock because this is just printed on regular paper, so it's super flimsy. Let me see if I can find a piece of cardstock real fast. Oh, packaging, coffee dye. Mm -hmm. It would help if I knew where my... Just regular cardstock was. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take some paper. I'm oh, sorry, you probably can't hear me. I'm gonna take some paper that I'm actually not a super big fan of, and that's what we're gonna use. Uh, I'm gonna move this guy out of the way. We're gonna flip this over because that way the pumpkins won't show through and the um it's gonna be glued down so it won't really matter 
let's do glue stick on this. Um, I don't have, I really haven't had issues with glue stick coming apart or things like that. If my head gets in the way, I'm just going to apologize. It may take me a little bit to kind of get used to this um, new setup. But I think it's, I think it's pretty good, you guys. Y'all. Okay. Here's this. And then we're just gonna... With sound effects. Yay. Okay. Let's do this again. Cut. I'm trying to cut close so we don't have a lot of white showing because this obviously isn't going to be inked well obviously I guess really it's not obvious to anybody but me and no one else is inside my silly little brain I'm sure you're all thankful for that one so anyways I hope everybody had a really really good Christmas did you guys get anything junk journaling related um what kind of are crafty because you know I like all different kinds of crafts What'd you get? Tell me, tell me in the comments. Um, I really hope that you guys are, that y'all are, if you're off work or if you were off work for a few days that you took the chance to relax and spend some time with people that you choose, be it family or friends or, you know, your favorite kitty cats or, you know, whatever. See, look how cute that is. Oh, um, I'm really bad about remembering to close my thingy majiggy there. So, what do we think? No? Yes. I feel like since it's, because this is, you know, pretty small, I feel like it needs to go. There we go. I like that better on the page without lace. Mm-hmm. I do. And then we'll make this little pocket and we'll make something to go in there. Okay. Um, can you see my pumpkins on the back? Um, well, I got goobers. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to use our glitter glue. I'm sorry, guys. I forgot. I forgot. We're going to use tacky glue. My bad. I think we'll get the goobers off. It's been sitting, probably felt like I abandoned it. Goodness, goodness. You know what else I didn't bring over here? My coffee. Mm, that is not okay. Shake, 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 shake. I got a new coffee mug from my husband and it is Deadpool and it's amazing. <laughs> I love Deadpool. I think I've told you guys I'm a bit of a nerd. Um, I love me some Marvel and DC superheroes and, uh, Dead Deadpool is my absolute favorite anti-superhero and Iron Man is my favorite superhero. Are you guys fans? If you are, tell me. Now this, as you see, we only did on three sides because we want to be able to stick stuff down in it. Um, and I've got lots of goopy glue on there. That's Probably my one big complaint with tacky glue is it's so hard grab a paper towel to get a nice thin line, which I love the art glitter glue tip for. So um, let me make sure I'm in frame. So with this, I just take my um, paper towel, and I'm assuming you could use a baby wipe too. I just use it. I just use it so ink doesn't go all over the place. Um, but, and I push out and away from the, um, inside of the, of this little cup, I push out that way, um, we don't end up gluing too much of the pocket, um, down. We have as much space there as possible. So we're going to let that dry a little bit and then let's find a little piece of tag and or paper and we can make just a small little tag to go in there you think this one yeah I like it okay um let me see here 
It does not need to be very big. I lost my ruler. I probably should have like cleaned my mess up before. Oh, you know what? Let's just use this piece and we'll just do a little paper on it is what we'll do. So let's see how big is this? Does this guy fit? This guy does not fit. Okay. Let me see. Um, we've got about an inch is about what we've got. So I'm just going to tear this, honestly, about here and just see how we go. Yep. See, that fits in there really nicely. Um, i trying to think if we want this to be kind of a journaling spot or if we just, hmm. Okay. So we have this, it needs to be torn down a little here. I'm trying to make sure, I'm not great with the measuring a lot of times, I should probably be better, but um, just making sure that it fits and it's not really sticking out. The topper will stick out, we'll do that, we'll do that in a minute. Okay, now, so we wanna get just a nice little piece of paper or something on here. I kind of wish, see I have this, this is dance. I wish I had something like that that said like coffee <laughs> on it because that would be great on here. <laughs> do we want to do Something long is what I'm kind of doing this. That's too big. I guess it doesn't, it doesn't have to be, oops, I'm throwing stuff on the floor, y'all. Okay. It doesn't have to be going that way, does it? Okay, I'm being indecisive again. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. I'm going through my pile. Not really finding anything that's singing to me. Except background, ding dong. Okay, I think I like this for the background. Let's do this. Ugh, I'm crooked. I'm crooked. And I can't get a hold of anything. Trash, trash, trash. Let's go. A little bit smaller, just a smidge, just a smidge. Okay, there's that. And then we're gonna glue stick again. Oh, you know what might be cute? Oh, okay, hold on. Inspiration strikes. Inspiration strikes, kind of. Okay, I'm gonna line that up a little bit. And I feel like I made that just a little bit too thin. Yep, okay. So we're gonna, whoops. We're gonna make a big honking mess. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna trim this down. And can you see here where I, I, I should have measured you guys. I really should have. Okay. So we're just gonna trim this down a little more. 
Okay, and I think I'm going to back it with coffee dye is what I'm going to do. That's, um, let me get my bag of scraps down here and see. Mm, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, wait, no, we don't want that piece because I forgot there was pumpkins on the other side. There we go. We'll do this piece. See, I have like this whole like huge Ziploc bag full of just like bits and pieces and because I use them in collage and I use them, you know, obviously for stuff like this. And I'm trying to be better about not saving every little bit and piece that happens. Um, but that's really hard because... You never know when you just need just a, just a tiny little piece of coffee dyed paper, right? So make sure all the corners and edges are down real good. I'm going to take this, cut that piece off, and save it because it's, that's what we do. And then trim again. I'm trying to think if we should ink this up a little bit. What do you guys think? Um, I think I'm going to use... Okay. Give it the program. I'm going to use this as the topper. And I'm going to stay with the staple method that I've been using. Um because it's quick, easy, cheap, and um, I feel like it puts in a little continuity of what we've got going on. I probably should wait and do the top. Well, no, we'll just do the topper now. Just stop being indecisive and just get it done. Can you guys see? Sorry. Okay, there we go. Perfecto mundo. All right. Now, what I was thinking is taking some fabric 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 that's what i was thinking um like maybe some of the pink because then we can pull if we use some of this pink don't want to put all the way down Oh, doesn't want to rip. Okay. Oh. Goodness. There we go. Apparently, I'm a weakling today or something. Goodness. Goodness. Okay. Let's trim some of these off. I love the little, like, frayed edges and stuff that makes me super happy oh goodness I'm gonna pull some more of these off you I know you guys can't see what I'm doing and I'm sorry that was my bad okay so there's that I'm not gonna leave it that wide I'm gonna trim it down a little bit let's get this put away Oh, my stomach's growling. I don't know why. I ate, I ate breakfast, like, not that long ago. Oh, my gosh. This just does not want to rip today at all. Okay, there we go. I'm going to save that bit in case we want to use it, like, as a topper or an accent or something like that. We'll just set it up there. We should have waited to trim pieces off because now we've got more. Okay. Trim. Stop fussing. Stop fussing. Mm, see? Oh, pretty, pretty. I like that. And then, here's where, like, I was, like, being all inspiration, blah, blah, blah. Let me get my life together. Probably not going to happen today, but I'm going to try. Here we go. Is, 
I thought, so we have all these awesome stamps. Is that too small? Too small. What about one of these? I really like these little sentiments. Um, and I also kind of like this. Do this and the coffee cup. What do we think? Hmm. Does that fit? It doesn't really, does it? Okay. We're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it. We're gonna do this. You are so pretty, and it says. Pretty smart, pretty kind, pretty cool, pretty fun. I love that. I love that it's not just focused on physical looks. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna take, kinda I have this big acrylic block here. And stick that on there. And I think, I don't wanna do it in any sort of brown. I think I'm gonna take this Distress Oxide Hickory Smoke. This is kind of a gray color. Um, let me, and then let's see how this looks. We can always do it with black or something else. I'm just gonna ink onto the stamp instead of putting the stamp onto the ink pad. I just personally tend to have better luck with that. Let's see how this does on the fabric. It might be too light. Oh, actually I kind of dig that. That didn't turn out super, super great, but I kind of like it. That'll work. Okay, let me grab a baby wipe. Oh, crap. Okay. I'm going to try and edit that out. Oops. Okay, that was awesome. If I don't get that edited out, because I really don't like editing a whole lot of the video, I... Kind of like, um, and I think you guys like to just kind of see me bumble around and, you know, and all my uh, kind of ridiculous glory most of the time. So I may or may not get that edited out. And if I don't, well, sorry I dropped you. Okay, there's that. And then this guy... Yeah, I kind of dig that. We're going to use some Fabri-Tac. Just, 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 just a smidge. Just a smidge. Come on. There we go. It's mad I haven't used it in a week. That, that, and this is something about the Fabri-Tac too. I know it's expensive. We've had this discussion, um, about ways to find it cheaper and things like that. But, a little goes a long way. You do not have to use big globs of it. And in fact, you don't want to use big globs of it because then it comes through your fabric and stuff and you don't want to do that. So, okay, so there's that cute little tag. And then, let's just, did I, did I glue it down too good? Look, see, okay, so I like that. One down, one down. And then let's do, let's do a fabric pocket. Um, I pulled out all of those fabrics and I moved them, of course, because that's what you do when you're me. Okay, sorry, I'm sure you could not hear what I said and I apologize. So this one's pink with some blue. We do...
I think I like this one. So we are going to just cut a nice piece. Let me do it this way because I want to go pretty big because we can always go smaller. You can always go smaller, but you can't go bigger. Uh, well, I mean, I guess really you could layer the fabric and that would be okay, right? But that's not what we're going to do. Oh, hello. Stringy, stringy, stringies. Yay. All right. Let's set this guy aside. Put him over my sewing bench since I'm obviously not sewing at the moment. Okay. Put this guy up here. Where's our book? There's our book. Am I still in frame? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. Where was I going to go with this? Right here. That's too big. That's about right, don't you think? Let's go this way. And then this one. And we're gonna have to use our fabric tack for this again. I just I don't I don't trust. Well, you know what? Maybe I should play, maybe I should just give the tacky glue a shot, see how it does. Stop being the way I'm being about it. Okay. Oh, that's too wide. Too wide. Okay. There we go. That's nice. And then I want to kind of layer something with that. Do we want some lace? some lace we've got this one laying here that's cute hmm what do we think you guys see this is kind of my default like layering the way I generally layer stuff um years of Oh, no, that does not look good. Oh, you know what? I have this other one over here, too. I kind of dig that. I like this one. I think this is just from Hobby Lobby. I believe the spool. Yeah, probably. Or Joanne's, one or the other. $2.99, you know I bought it with a coupon. That's what I do. Let's do this. Okay, so we want to do two. I've got this. Seems like it's a little too, like... Mm, I don't know, maybe. We did. Oh, like this. I kind of like that. I'll take this little bit off. See, I can. <laughs> I can never just like leave well enough alone. Like I just, I just can't. Let's see. That this yeah I like that a lot of here to do this layering um we are gonna use fabri tac again I I the other option for this particular sort of thing would be to sew it um and I'm just not gonna do that right now I'm just gonna because I think probably more of us don't have access to a access to a sewing machine or the ability to sew than the than um, the access to Fabri-Tac. That's my thoughts, anyway. I could be wrong. So one, ooh, sticky on my fingers. Two. Ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty. 
My fingers are all gross though. And then this guy. I dig that like kind of a lot way more than I thought I would. This little um, Rick Rack is kind of fuzzy. This is from Walmart and um, I think it was a dollar. I think it was a dollar. Um, again, this comes from my sewing days, so I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a dollar. Let's get a little more Fabri-Tac going there. This one, the, the tacky glue might actually be okay for this. I wouldn't use it for the lace for sure, though. I'm just weird like that. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. Okay, I like that. Let's trim this little uh, doohickey off there. Um, I know some people really like, like, the strings and stuff hanging off. I'm not that people. Uh, it really bothers my OCD to have that hanging off. Um... So, yeah. And then, like this guy, or do we like it better on, not that page, not that page, what about this page? No, I like it on the green. I like it on the green. Let's do it on this one. It's right here. It's right here. Let's put my ruler there so we don't lose what we're doing. Okay. Um, let's try the tacky glue. Let's see what we think. Other than it takes forever to come down. Okay. Because it says you can use it for fabric. So, I mean. Oh, and I should probably give you the, the fabric this particular fabric that I'm using is old. Um, I purchased it probably at least 10 years ago um, from Walmart. Um, it is one of their, it was probably, it's like one of their calico quilting solids. I probably paid maybe $2 for the yard and, um, that was, and that was it. And so, you know, I mean, that little piece, Honestly, if you shop remnant bins of fabric stores or, again, right your closet. I mean, there's so many things. I actually have another piece of corduroy hanging out um, from a pair of pants. You know, there are so many things that you can cut up and use. And, you know, you, you that's super cheap way to do it. So, there's that. So, we have this pocket that we'll make a tag for is at another point. And then we did, wherever he went, we have this one. Uh, ba dee ba dee ba dee. Where are we at? Okay, so this we want to leave there. This one we have to make something for. This one, I think I'm just going to leave the vellum, like, kind of as is. We want to put, let's put a pocket on this page. Okay, we'll do one more pocket, and then I, th or let's do a tuck. Let's just do a cute little tuck, actually. Let's do this. I love this little paper that was in that Happy Mail that I got. I love that. I think it's beautiful. And then um, let's do, see, we have these little things here that are just so cute. We did the hello. No, we already have some hello. Not just the little the little coffee thing here little coffee pot I did find some more um, printables online um, but I did not get a chance to actually print them out before um, filming this video so next time we come together I will have those printed out and ready to go. I like that this has the. I'm not a, a very um, awesome fussy cutter. I uh, tend to. I've got my own little map in my mind. And. 
that's just kind of how it goes with me. Okay. I'm trying to look at what we've got going on, like color-wise and stuff. Because I feel like I want a little bit more than just this little cutout on this tuck. Um, let's see what we can find here. We may do some more of the like coffee background. Almost done. One more, one more. See, super fabulous. Not really. See, like I feel like it needs something else here. Um, it just doesn't feel. See, this is one of my little scraps. Is that too plain? Is that too plain? Oh, don't we have? That would just fit. What's on our other one? You are the coffee to my morning. Yes, let's do that. Okay. Let's do. Oh, if I can get it off. I kind of suck at this stuff. Okay, this is a smaller acrylic block. Um, no idea where I got this. Um, I think I told you guys last time that um, I found it in my stuff. And I mean, who knows? I've been collecting crafting supplies for, oh gosh, at least 15 years, at least. So, yeah. Sometimes it's hard to remember where I get things at. So this guy, we're going to put right, I'm going to try and center it, kind of. Have it, oh, where's my paper towel? So you're going to do the same thing here. Oops. Oops. And then I'm just going to use a uh, glue stick on this. Except, yeah. Okay. You won't even be able to tell once it's actually glued down. Okay, so this guy we're going to put like this. And then I'm going to do this gray again, I think. Let's see. Let's see how that looks. I should probably do it right side up though. Ooh. That doesn't that doesn't look super great, does it? Wow. Okay. I think I I think I over inked. I think that's the problem. I over inked. Let's try this. I'm not like a very experienced rubber stamper. Um, I'm a little under inked, isn't it? Okay, I think we might have a happy medium now. Let's try this. Um, so that's why I kind of have to play with it because I really don't. I mean, this really isn't something I'm very experienced at. And I know a lot of you are probably laughing at me because, um, that's not bad. I probably should have done it in a darker brown or something see that the tacky glue is a kind of a water-based glue so it tends to kind of wrinkle things a little bit so but that's done let's clean this off um but i know a lot of people um who junk journal uh kind of migrated from like kind of the scrapbooking community which is awesome um and i scrapbooked like when my almost 20 year old son was a baby. Um, I did some scrapbooking, but like I got rid of all of my stuff years and years and years ago. Um, when my first husband and I um, got divorced, uh, I ended up getting rid of basically all of those sorts of things. Um, and, but 
Sorry, I thought my kids are obviously um, kind of home from school still. So I thought I, I thought my daughter was crying and I was like, what the heck's going on, you two? Or three, there's three of them home. Um, my older two boys um, are on their own. So they aren't here. But, um, well, unless my 18 year old might stop by today. We, ha we haven't got to do Christmas with him because he, um, he is a corrections officer and had to work uh both christmas eve and christmas day and we are insanely proud of the work that he does but that means that sometimes we don't really get to see him a whole lot this is pretty flimsy so i think i'm gonna do the um cardstock again if i can find what i did with it there it is yeah, I'm going to do that again because I just, that's super flimsy. And I know adding thickness is not like the favorite thing. But sometimes I, I really just want it to be able to stand up to the wear and tear that comes with a tuck spot. Let's try and line this up so we don't have to do as much trimming. Smooth. Smooth, smooth, and crooked. That's okay. That's okay. We're all a little crooked sometimes. Okay. There. There. And I'm actually, I'm going to try and get super close so the light doesn't even come into play here. Actually, what I should probably do is just add a little ink. There we go. Just, I really don't love that stamp, you guys. I think we need to cover it up. I think we need to cover it up. But with what is the question? Mm. If I was better at bows, I would put a bow there. Mm. Nothing is really striking my fancy. That colors it. Mm, let's see. I love this ribbon. This is um this is this is not budget friendly ribbon. It's from a company called Barb and Mix in Germany <laughs> and um, it is it is not budget friendly. Oh, you know what? We should use washi. Let me see what I've got that's blue right here. Too blue? You guys, you guys I've got to get on you guys' nerves like crazy, don't I? Um, Let me think. I'm not loving anything. I'm just not. Because this guy doesn't need to go. But just not quite wide enough. I don't care. It's going. It's going. Because that's cute. Because that's cute. All right. Three sides. Or two sides, I'm sorry, because it's a tuck, not a not a pocket. Oh, come on, glue. Okay. And then we're going to... And I'm pretty sure I just glued the wrong side. I did, so we have to find a different page to put this on. Oh, we can do it on this side, right? What do you guys think? That doesn't look horrible, does it? Nope. Okay. Okay, find our paper towel. This helps really, I mean, if you really push while you're doing this, it really helps keep it down. Am I even in frame? I am, kind of. Yeah, sorry. I tend to get a little too much this way or a little too much that way. I'm working on it. 
Okay. And so we need to make something to go in there too. And we'll do that. Um, I think time-wise, where are we at? Oh yeah, we're good. So um, I'm going to call it a day here. Um, we're at about 50 minutes. So, um, so today we did this tuck. We did this little pocket and tag. This might need something on it. That might happen. Um, and then we also did something else. We did another pocket. I know we did. It was on a green page. I remember. Where'd it go? Was it that one? Nope. <laughs> Let's not tear everything apart, Micah. What do you say? There it is. This one, the little fabric one. I'm willing to make something to go in there too. So we'll do that next time. So anyways, sorry for the usual hot mess express. Um, I hope you guys had a great Christmas. I hope you're looking forward to uh, the coming year. Let me know what you guys got for Christmas. If you got anything crafty um, that you're excited about, I'd love to hear about it. Um, live vicariously through you. So um, if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, let me know in the comments down below and uh, give me a thumbs up to if you want to see some more. You know, we've got plenty more to do on this journal. Lots and lots and lots to do more on this journal. Um, and uh, subscribe and hit not notify so that um, you'll know when I get more content uploaded. I'm hoping now that Christmas is over to kind of be back in the saddle. So, uh Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. Get some crafting time in. Uh, get some relaxing in. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.